Hey guys, Brian here. We're gonna try to do a little dock how-to today. Um, we're gonna be fishing some deeper docks that are going to be kind of like marina docks. Um, and with these docks, they're floating. And so you got a different set of rules here versus when you're set fishing, uh, say, shallower docks up north where the poles are drove in the ground and they're only in about four or five foot of water. Um, these docks here are hovering over, we're at about eight foot right now, and the ends of them are gonna be in 15, 20 foot of water. And so what you're doing is you're, you're not really for fishing so much for fish that are on the bottom as you are for fish that are suspended up underneath. Docks are a great place for all the bait fish to hide when they go back in here and spawn in the in the spring. <clears throat> those, the, the, the bait starts to spawn out, the little ones start spawning out, they start pulling out of these bays, the first thing they're going to find are these docks, and they offer them cover, they offer them shade, they offer them a place, you know, the bait fish a place to eat because of the allergy that grows on the bottom of these docks, they come up and they're going to eat on the, they're going to eat on the, uh, allergy on the bottom of it so they kind of got everything they need right here and don't really have to go anywhere else there's two parts of these docks that are going to hold the fish obviously you got the main platform and walkways which they're going to get up and underneath and, and suspend under as they're waiting for the bait fish to come around them there's another spot on the, these bigger marina docks there's a there's a pole or a support bar that's underneath the water probably about eight feet six to eight feet it comes down and connects across the openings of each of these. And what will happen with bass a lot of times, they'll suspend on that bar. And what I like to do, I like to throw three baits on, on docks. I like to throw a, a wacky rig, which is you know, just a sink hung in the middle with a, with a uh, jig head on it. I like to throw, I like to flip them. You know, if I'm looking for a really big bite sometimes, or I know some docks hold bigger fish, I'm gonna flip uh, flip a jig in here. This is one, probably one of my favorites. This is an Outcast Tackle 3 8 ounce uh, juice jig. And the other is a swim bait. Um, I try to use the ones with, uh, I try to use a lead head, you know, open lead head, just because you're gonna get a bigger bite. But sometimes you get around some of these docks that have uh, more uh, cables and stuff in them. I'll go to uh, I'll go to a uh, Texas rigged belly weighted hook. That way I can kind of skip it up underneath there, swim it back out, and uh, don't have to worry about it getting hung up as much. But uh, it seems like it's kind of a finesse deal at times, and that's why I really like uh, I really like the uh, wacky rig system. Um, I'll be honest, I don't catch a lot of giant fish on it. But when I am looking for the bigger fish, I'll, I'll flip that jig and I may flip it around some of these docks here. We're just going to go down them real quick here with the uh, wacky rig and see if we can pick a couple up. I don't do that well really in winter or early spring with it. It seems more like a late spring after they get done spawning um, all the way through summer into fall as the fish start pulling back into these bays. Um, they'll hold up on these docks too as the bait fish are still around them. And late spring, obviously, you know, after the fish have spawned, they're heading back out. The fish that do live shallow, uh, they'll come back and, you know, they're going to they're gonna stay on these docks year round. Just for the simple fact, all the bait fish is pulling out here, they're, this is, they, don't, they don't have to go anywhere else. Usually there isn't structure here to keep big schools of fish on it just the way they, they set up on it and suspend underneath it. I've never gotten in big schools, but it seems like I can go down a row of docks. Um, you know, a, a bigger row like this where you got 20, 30 boats in it and, and get three, four fish off from it. And it always seems like the first docks in a section, um, or the docks sometimes closest to the bank or the ones that generally have fish, or if you can get docks that'll have something to look at even on the topo map, just to look for a dock that may have a creek channel that runs in and underneath it. And 
understand where that creek channel is, or maybe it's a deep bay and you've got a point. Uh, I know a couple of the marinas here on Barkley that have a point that run or an old rope bed that run right underneath them. That little section of docks is going to be better than the rest because now you've put some structure along with the docks being the cover on that. I just, I just like shake the shake this wacky rig all the way down. Um, I like to get it down to a point and just kind of lift it up and feel for that bar. And when I get that bar, right there's that bar. I just like to shake it around that bar if I can without flipping it over the other side and keep that bait right there. So basically you got this bar that's down there underneath the water supporting these two docks. I like to get my bait on the back side and just kind of just yo-yo it up and down on that side of it. Just keep it right there in front of their face. The biggest thing you're trying to do with fishing around these docks is keep it in the shaded area. That's why the fish are here. They're using the shade to ambush the bait fish. The bait fish are trying to use it to hide from the bass. And any other little thing you can get in the dock. Some are going to be just plain docks that just got the boats in there. Other ones like this here, this one here, has got a uh, swimming ladder. And that just gives that dock just one extra thing that those fish can hide around. So make sure you, you, you look at them all, see what they've all got to, uh, to offer. Keep your bait in the shade as much as possible. And then pick out the extra, the extra objects that are in that dock area and uh, hit them. And if they have what they call spud poles or support poles that go all the way down that actually hold the, hold the, uh, <coughs> the docking in place, a lot of times some of the deeper ones, and most of these are up in the middle, but if you can get some out here on the edge, that's another spot that those fish, you know, it's something that goes all the way to the bottom and something else they can get up against and, and be next to. Bass are edge oriented and they, they like to be around something. There we go. And that's what we're looking for. We caught it swimming. <laughs> Actually had it a little bit out from that dock. He may have even pulled it out from that dock by the time I realized I had him. Nice, chunky, solid. That's, I mean, good tournament fish for this time of the year. That's what you're looking for. That's that 3 8 ounce, that juice jig again. I'm just flipping him up alongside there and swimming it out. feature to watch for too is if you get docks that have got rod holders and stuff around them a lot of times they may have <coughs> brush piles underneath them that guys have put out for crappie fishing and obviously with a brush pile down there that docks going to be key those docks going to be key almost all year round lake the ozarks is really well known for having a lot of brush piles around its docks and that can be a that can be a key factor even in the spring throwing jerk baits more cover you can put around that dock, underneath that dock, um, all the better it's always going to be. You can find those by just taking your side imaging and just run down the side of these side imaging. You'll see which docks have got those brush piles underneath them. Those are, those are docks you're going to want to fish a little bit harder because those are going to be your key spots that are going to be holding the fish. Today I'm just flipping out here at the front of these, just fishing these things. You can get, especially with a wacky rig, even this jig, this juice jig is an awesome skipping jig. Um, you can get way up underneath them. Um, I like fishing these outside edges bars that are down there and that's what I'm hung on right now. I'm, just, I'm, I'm right up against that bar and I'm just going to shake it there a few times see if I can get that fish. And that's what that last fish came off of. I just popped it off that bar it fell and that, that fish, uh, that, I mean I just see my line take off on me and that's what he was sitting on. And a lot of times that's what those fish are on. I don't try to get a super long rod when I'm doing this. I want something in a 7 foot to 7 3 somewhere in there. Uh, medium heavy fast, extra fast action. I like having that tip on it if I've got to skip something up underneath there.
lot of times, like, I, I can hear this one. When I got my jig on there, rattling off that little bar, I can hear it. That metal bar. The jig head hitting the, hit the side of it. Well, I moved over here to this other set of docks. This is a little shallower set of docks. These have the spud poles I was talking about. See these poles that are sticking off that I just put two right there that are on the end of these docks, just about every other one has got it. That's what actually holds these docks in place. And they ride up and down on that pole as water elevation changes. Those are good. Those are uh, definitely spots that you want to make sure. That's like having that bar underneath the water. That gives those fish a little something else to relate to that's underneath the water rather than just suspending up underneath floats. Again, give these fish, you know, three different types of baits to look at. You know, this jig is more of a vertical presentation. It's going, you know, basically straight up and down, pitching it in. Yeah, you can swim it along those docks if you want to. When I pitch it in, you know, we're only in four foot of water here. You're just pitching it in, letting it go down to the bottom and hop it. There's not a lot of water disc column there for those fish to have to chase a bait, so they'll chase it down to the bottom or catch it as you're reeling it back up. Um, your swim baits, you know, that gives them a vertical presentation. Sometimes guys will throw square bills down on, you know, anything, vert your spinner baits, whatever. Give them that horizontal presentation. And then also, don't forget about your finesse stuff. Throw a drop shot around them, uh, your wacky rig, you know, your stick worms, wacky rig them, just let them kind of float and hover there. Um, just kind of get an idea what, what mood those fish are in, how fast you can fish them. I don't, I know some guys that they'll sit, they know there's supposed to be fish underneath them. I mean, they'll sit on a row of docks for hours. I just, I tend to fish them pretty quick. I'm looking for aggressive fish that are there feeding on bait fish, and I'm not going to give them a lot of time to eat. I've probably missed a lot of fish doing it that way, but that's just kind of how I fish them. I just, you know, I'm there looking for that active bite, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time trying to trying to get one to eat. But hopefully those few tips will help you put a few more fish in your boat. Don't be afraid to get by around these docks and catch, you know, and look for some fish around them. They definitely all hold fish, especially in that late spring through early fall, they're a really, really great place to pick up a few extra fish. Um, try to keep your bait in the shaded spots at all the time. Keep it around something that's in the water. You know, it, you got an you got open dock, some of these like here that got pontoons and stuff already in them. It's not bad to get a, a cast or a skip up up in there, in the center there. They've got the barrels there that are holding the boat up. Those fish can get around those. If you've got a walkway or a, a ladder that's in the water, it makes it even that much better. Don't forget about your bars that come out underneath. Make sure you get those on the way out. But hopefully those few tips will give you a a couple more fish in the boat, another place to try if you've never fished docks, give you a little something to look for uh, the next time you're out on the water. Uh, give them a try and they'll definitely help you put a few more fish in the, in the boat that maybe you would have passed up as you're driving by. But, uh, until next time, tight lines, this is Captain Brian with Fishing Hype Outdoors.